So welcome to Technodad Life and we're going to be installing Let's Encrypt with Proxy to remotely access our Open Media Vault Nextcloud server. And sorry for the delay in doing this, but there were a lot of little niggly things that took me a little while to figure out, but we finally got it done. And as always, if you like this, make sure you like and subscribe, and here we go now! So just in brief, we have the internet, our router, and our Open Media Vault server. And we have different things on that server that we want to access from the internet. So a container like the Let's Encrypt container that has a reverse proxy in it lets us do that. And we're going to be using ports 80 and 443. So what a reverse proxy does is it redirects to places behind the firewall and adds additional layer of protection. The Let's Encrypt uh, gives us the HTTPS and what that does is protects our data from prying eyes and data can't be modified in transit. This container also has in it something called fail to dip ban which protects from bots and Bruce Fort's brute force attacks on our password. So to do that we need to know about domains, subdomains, and subfolders. So basically our domain is our normal www. whatever name I put down, myserver.com. And for our next cloud we need a subdomain. So basically some type of word like next cloud in front of our regular domain.com for the highest security. The other way that you can do this, which is not recommended by Nextcloud, is actually at the end have a subfolder and you can name this Nextcloud or you can add in other things that way too. Finally, to get this all working, we have to do a number of different steps. So, this is a basic outline. So we're going to set up a static domain with DuckDNS and then set up a DuckDNS container. We're going to forward our ports on our router to our uh, server. We're going to create a user-defined bridge in order for all the containers to talk to each other. Then finally we're going to install Let's Encrypt. We have to edit Nextcloud to work with Let's Encrypt. And then we have to edit Next Encrypt to work with Nextcloud. And so that's the basic. So let's get started. So first we need a running version of Open Media Vault with Docker installed and running. And next, if you haven't done it already, you need to install Nextcloud and Maria database and those should be running. Next you should be able to open your Nextcloud and that should be working. And so if you don't have any of those, uh, just check my previous Nextcloud video and it will show you all that. And in order to do this one, we need to download Notepad++. And you can find that at notepad-plus-plus.org. And finally, we're going to be need a DuckDNS account. And so we'll get back to that in a minute. So first thing we need to do is go to Docker and download two packages. So one is the Linux server Let's Encrypt, and the other one is Linux server DuckDNS. And once you've done that, we're going to click on the DuckDNS one, click on the info page, go down to usage, and you can see we need our normal PGID and PUID. Are, and what's different about DuckDNS is we are going to need something called subdomains and tokens. And so in the beginning I explained subdomains, but basically this is going to be our DuckDNS name that's going to point to our server. So make sure DuckDNS is highlighted and click Run Image. And we're going to call this DuckDNS. Restart Policy Always. Bridge. We're going to leave that there. We're going to put in our PUID and our PGID. And we're going to put in our Time Zone. And so the next thing we need to do is get a subdomain. So now we're going to go to DuckDNS and log in. You have your choice of how you want to log in. 
So once you've logged in, you'll come to this page. And so here I already have two DNS domain names. But how you do that is you click on subdomain right here and type in a name and see if it's available. So I just typed in Minnie Mouse. We'll click add domain and see if that's available. And it is. And so on, so on DuckDNS, you're allowed five different names. So you can use this to add a uh, name different servers such as Himdal or, uh, or whatever you want. Okay, so now that we have those names, there's just one other thing that we need. So we need our token. So we go back to our container and type in the different subdomains. And so they are comma separated with no spaces. Then we'll click plus. Next, we're going to add in our token. So we're going to simply copy and paste that from the other page. Click plus again. And then for this container, we don't need a container path. And then we're going to click save. Next, we're going to click on Let's Encrypt, and we're going to go for the info page from there. And you can see this one is a little more involved. And so what's different here is, again, the, the net admin is for uh, fail to ban to work. Uh, we need config file for, for it, our normal PUID and our PGID. Our email address is the one that we used in DuckDNS. The URL is going to be duckdns.org. Subdomains are those comma separated domains that we had. Validation method, we're going to put HTTP. And then because OMV is on port 80, we need to change that port there. And we need to change this port here. But before we do that, we're going to actually go to our router and make sure we change those ports. Okay, so to change your ports, you need to log into your router. And I would suggest Googling your router's name plus port forwarding. Uh, so mine, I have a tomato router. It's very simple. So basically, click on port forwarding basic. And here you can see basically... Uh, I just needed to add in two things here. So we want the external port 80 to go to 90 to the Let's Encrypt one. And 443 external point port going to the port 450 in Let's Encrypt. And then we just added in the Let's Encrypt internal address. And you would click Add and then Save on mine. So if we go back here, so this port 80 will be port 90, and then this port 443 will be port 450 when we put it into the container. And lastly, we need to add in the time zone. So before we set up our Let's Encrypt container, we actually have to fix one thing and then change two things. So we're going to go to our shell in our box, go to Web Clients, Advanced, proceed, login as root and our server name or server password, excuse me. Good. So we're actually going to change one thing from last time. So we're going to change directories slash shared folder slash app data slash next cloud database. Click enter. And of course, you need to type in your names of your containers properly for this to work. So make sure you do that. Next, type in nano custom.cnf. Hit enter. And we're going to page down three pages and going to go to bind address, which we took the number sign out of. And there you can see it is right there. And so we're just going to add in that number sign again. Hit control X and then Y and then enter. Then we're going to hit CD space tilde. Hit enter. So next, we're going to create a custom network for our, our Docker network. And so we're just going to type Docker space network space create space my dash net. And my dash net is the name uh, I use for our network. You can use anything you want. Then hit enter. And so there it's created our network. Next, we can exit that and close. And now we're going to go to our next cloud container. We're going to click on that and click modify and OK. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. We're going to add in this extra argument dash dash network space my dot net. And so again, my dot net would be whatever you 
picked for your network name to be. Then click Save. Now with all that done, we're actually now finally able to install our Next Encrypt. So we're going to click on Next Encrypt and click Run Image. Call this Let's Encrypt. Restart policy always. It's going to be in bridge mode. And so for our ports, we forwarded port 443 to 450. Click plus. And then for 80, we forwarded 90. Click plus. Now we scroll down here, we put in our normal PUID and PGID. Next, we're going to put in email and then our email address that we use for DuckDNS. Hit the plus sign. Next, type in URL and then DuckDNS.org. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to type in subdomains and then type in our subdomains that we added. And I'm just going to type in one because that's all we need right now. Uh, but if you do have to add more than one, you would just put a comma, no space again, uh, like that, and then hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to type in validation, and our validation type is HTTP. Hit the plus sign. Time zone again for me, it's America, New York. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to type in only subdomains. So basically, for DuckDNS, uh, we don't want to try to take over the DuckDNS site. We just want to use our um, subdomains there, Mighty Mouse and Daffy Lucy. And so we're going to click true here. Then hit the plus sign. Now we're going to go down to container pass, hit slash, config. And oops. And first we have to add that down here. So we're going to go to our network, click on our server app data. And we're going to add in a Let's Encrypt folder. Now go back to our host path, shared folders, app data, Let's Encrypt. OK. Hit the plus sign. Now we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to add in two things dash dash cap dash add equals net. Uh, underscore admin space dash dash network space my dash net so basically the first half is for fail to ban and the second half is for uh, our private network once we're done with that click save and now what we want to do is go back to shell in the box log in again and we're going to type in docker space log space uh, space dash f space let's encrypt. And so what this will do is we'll see us. Uh, it takes a little while for the let's encrypt container to uh, make and pull down uh, the certificates that we need. So this will just show us the progress of that. So we're going to hit enter. And here you can see it was successfully it was able to make my certificates and that my server is ready down here so we can close this one okay so next we need to just adjust a few things and some uh, containers here so we're going to go to our server again go to app data let's encrypt and nginx and proxy configs and next cloud subdomain dot config and we're going to right click on that and edit with notepad notepad plus plus and so we just need to change one thing on here so for our server name we need to change it to the one that we got from duck dns so here it's next cloud so i want to change that to mighty mouse oh actually we want to change how we save that so we want to click save as and when we click save as it actually removes the dot sample there click save we're going to close that and then we're going to go down to let's encrypt click on that and click restart and what you'll see is it will flash for a second that means it's restarted so next we're going to reconfigure a next cloud folder so we're going to again click on our server go to app data next cloud www 
oops, WW, next cloud. We're gonna go on to config and config PHP. Then we're going to right click on that, edit with note plus plus. And so here we're gonna actually add in a few different things. So first we're going to go to the zero equals greater than, hit enter after that line. We're gonna type in one space equals greater than space quotes, and then your server name, whatever you got from DuckDNS, and then dot DuckDNS.org quotes, comma. Next, we're gonna go down a line and then hit space again. And we're gonna add in three lines here. So the first thing we're gonna do is erase this current overwrite.cll.url because we don't need that anymore. And so we're gonna type in quote overwrite.cli.url quote space equals greater than space quote HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash your DuckDNS name dot DuckDNS dot org quote comma. The next line is quote overwrite host quote space equals greater than space quote again your DuckDNS name dot DuckDNS dot org quote comma. And then the, finally quote overwrite protocol quote equal or space equals greater than space quote https quote comma and so what this will do is make our instead of our server going to http it will automatically go to https and then we're going to click save and then we can Close all those and exit. Next, we need to restart our Nextcloud server. So we're gonna make sure that's highlighted. Click down here on start and then restart. Again, wait for it to flash. Okay, so now everything should be working. So what we're gonna do is open a new tab. We're going to paste in our website address, which is https colon slash slash your duck DNS name. Hit enter. And now we're into Nextcloud. And so on the next video, what I'll be doing is showing how you can use duck DNS to access other program programs, but basically it's about the same. So that's it for today and take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.